Hi, this is State Representative JT Wilcox. I'm the House Republican leader here in Olympia, and uh, we are not that far from being halfway done with uh, this uh, session of the Washington State Legislature. I've said before that a lot of this session is about fixing mistakes of the past, and uh, I'm someone that has always believed that uh, when, when you put a lot of effort into something, you are always aware of your own good intentions, but you have to own the results. And uh, unfortunately, the results of legislation over the last 10 years have been catastrophic. Uh, first of all, when it comes to housing, I've been here for 12 years now, and there is uh, not been a year past when I haven't voted no on a number of bills because they add to the cost of housing and they make it harder to uh, build and site homes. And here's the result. 250,000 families in the state of Washington don't have a place to live. This has to end. And unfortunately, I don't think it's ending this year. There's a lot of lip service being paid to uh, uh, building homes, but at the same time, there's bills that uh, make it far more expensive uh, to build a house because we keep changing the state building code and uh, make it uh, less likely that you will find a place to build uh, additional housing because we continue to limit where those houses can be built. Another area where we have seen lots of good intentions, uh, but uh, the results that should be owned by those that propose public safety bills are that we have seen increasing lawlessness, especially in our biggest cities, and the closure of grocers and other kind of retailers because some stores have been openly looted over the last year. And in many cases, the people that get in trouble are not those that are stealing, but those that try to make them stop. Fortunately, there were a few somewhat watered down bills uh, passed over the last couple of days out of committee that uh, begin to restore some of the necessary tools to police. Um, and I'm happy to say these bills passed mainly with Republican votes. Uh, the legislature here is controlled by Democrats, but Republican votes were necessary to pass these bills because it's hard for people to go backwards in politics, it seems like. We've also talked an awful lot about emergency powers, and we've had hearings on a couple of emergency power bills. The Republican one uh, here in the House uh, I think we'll have an impact. Over 5,000 people signed in support, just barely over 100 people signed in to oppose it. Over in the Senate, there's a Democratic bill that has far less of an impact, but it's uh, uh, an equivalent amount of support. The people of Washington are speaking up. Uh, they're asking us to restore common sense. Republicans are trying hard to do that, and we're having some wins this year, but we have a long ways to go. And we're only halfway through the session. Thank you.